Estimate Guide provides access to look up parts and labor, maintenance, and fluids to create basic estimates. Please note labor rate, taxes, and fees are stored in shop settings. For a detailed review of those items, watch the quotes video. Users can browse the service categories or search by part description or by part number if that is known. Start by entering a description, then click this icon or just press enter. As you type a few letters or numbers, the drop-down populates with suggestions. If your item is listed, you can click on it directly to open it. Search narrowed this to driveline and axles. Parts and labor are returned together as a single lookup. Labor displays the primary operation. Clicking on that, we can see the labor time along with any related combination times. Combination times are presented separately for easy reading, including important notes. Select your labor time using the Add button. This is added to labor in the running totals above using the labor rate in shop settings discussed in the quotes video. The Add button changes to Remove to provide an easy undo function. Note that a green check mark has been added as a visual indicator of the added task. Part options are also opened. Part numbers displayed are OEM with list prices. By clicking on the blue part number, or the item number in front of its description, a parts diagram can be displayed. We now have parts, labor, and images on the screen all at the same time. The diagram may be viewed full screen, return to normal, and put away to restore full view of the parts and labor text. Part quantities may be adjusted here, saving time and ensuring accuracy. Select the appropriate part using the Add button. Its list price is added to parts in the running totals above. While we do not display a full list of selected labor and parts here, this may be reviewed by clicking on View Quote. All quote screen editing functions remain available. Return to Estimate Guide restores the previous screen. This breadcrumb trail displays your navigation path so far, making it easier to return to any previous step. If switching to Maintenance or Fluids with a previous search term still visible, click the X to clear the search box. This will ensure the proper display of these information types. Maintenance information will be available for indicator, mileage, mileage periodic, time, or other service schedules by vehicle application. Mileage intervals with an asterisk indicate where extended mileage intervals are created to expand the table out to 300,000 miles. Mileage periodic refers to maintenance items not performed repeatedly over a range of miles on a specific vehicle as opposed to a specific mileage reading seen on the odometer. Time service schedules include items performed according to months rather than mileage readings. These are typically applied to commercial vehicles or those under similar usage patterns. Clicking Add next to the maintenance labor time will add it to the labor total above. To include the multi-line service details as notes, click the other Add button provided. A green check mark appears as a visual indicator of the added task. Fluid capacities and types are displayed by vehicle application. All fluids will display a list of items to view and or select from. Fluids listed may include recommendations or warranty requirements. Clicking on Engine Coolant displays OEM notes about the coolant recommended. Clicking Add copies it to the worksheet as an unpriced part item. A green check mark appears as a visual indicator of the added item. Clicking on View Quote toggles to the Quote screen to price the fluids and potentially add your own labor, parts, or sublet items. This is the screen where the estimate is finalized as a quote with or without customer information. Clicking the Return to Estimate Guide button returns you to the last area you were viewing in the Estimate Guide.